What's up everybody, it's Dom Universe. So today I wanted to make an important video for people to help y'all understand or overstand that we are limitless. So over the past few months or past few weeks, ETC, I've been talking a lot about the soul in, in the way. I've been talking about how we are, we can incarnate. But okay, listen. When we die, right, we shed this body, right? We live as a soul. We are souls with a human avatar, not humans with a soul, right? Um, when we die, as the as this soul, we are forever young. We do not age. We are limitless. We are immortal. Technically, we are forever age zero. We do not age. So what does zero mean? Zero means no limitations. Zero means infinity. Infinity in a in a sense is unattainable in the uh, in the physical realm. So what does that mean? This is why I say we have to align our mind, body and soul. Like I also told y'all, just like when we when we uh manifest things into our life, it oftentimes we manifest it in the spirit realm first and then it it starts to manifest into the physical realm because things manifest faster in the spirit realm. So um like, just like when you say words, it's vibration. So it echoes on into eternity. Uh, Y'all, we already know that. We, we ain't going to get into that right now. Just a minute. Um. So since number zero in numerology mean infinity and uh, no limitations, you got to realize we are infinite beings. So I talked about how when you die, right? You go into the higher dimensions and you're a soul. You have the option to be able to pick and choose what planet or star inside of whatever universe in whatever multiverse, omniverse, inside of the macroverse you want to incarnate on. And uh, basically, your soul, it doesn't die. It just creates avatars when it goes on to planets. The avatar is the 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 uh, genetics of the avatar is created by Osiris, but we customize the avatar and shape it into what we what we want. Like how I look, my soul made my body look like this when it when it uh, formed inside of the fetus, right? Or formed inside of the uh, the woman, my mom. Basically, it's like when you play a video game and you create your avatar, right? You make it look the way you want it to look. If you ever played the older Tony Hawk games and you create your avatar and you like add in races together or add in like there are, is grids and you change, for example, your facial features, how big you want it, how, how light you want it, what position you want your eyeballs on your head and stuff like that. It's just like that. Um. So with that being said, uh... Everything starts inside, right? So y'all know how I tell y'all we have a microverse inside of us. If anybody who's ever having internal conflict inside of themselves, you're supposed to go inside before you ever try to... Like, the same same concept is when I say you have to start inside to build love. Build love inside you before you can give it out to the world. Um... Go within your microverse. I know y'all probably hear a lot of people say you have to go within, you have to go within, blah, blah, blah. And y'all probably don't necessarily understand or overstand what that means. It means that you are the governor of your internal environment. I spoke about this inside in that, uh, that, that your sales react to your thoughts video. You are always creating your reality. Whether you realize it or not, your thoughts and whatnot go to your subconscious and, and your subconscious is connected to the divine, the spirit realm. So when it manifests in the spirit realm, your subconscious look for ways to make it manifest into the physical realm. We are we really powerful people. Like y'all got to realize just because we are not like our souls in this life, it don't mean we not infinite. This is why I tell y'all when... When you feel like you can't do something or you don't have the courage, you have to be the one to believe in yourself when nobody else will. You have to be your own motivation uh, for the most part. Nobody going to pick you up and carry you on their back. But anyway, yeah, to 
to help y'all understand more on how we are limitless, remember, I told y'all if you don't, if your soul weak, if you close your eyes and you, all you see is darkness inside of you, your soul is weak. Your soul is slowly dying. Don't mean you gonna die. It just means your soul's light is not bright. You need to be taking care of yourself. You gotta think of your soul as your best, best, best friend. It's you, but you gotta, you gotta, that's what I mean when I say take care of yourself. Take care of your soul. Take care of your cell, yourself. Because the word self comes from the word cell, but take care of your internal environment for the most part. Your internal environment creates your external environment. Remember that everything starts inside. That's with anything. That's with wealth. That's if you want a job. That's if you want you want a better life. You want a better body. You want a better car. You want a better anything. You want something new. You want whatever. You want whatever it is to happen in your life. You start inside. Everything is in there. You don't go out looking for things and, and expecting things outside of you to just be all for you. It's not like that. You have to create it the way you want it to be because you're the creator. When you when you are born, you're born a co-creator, right? We are all wizards with superpowers. You got to unlock your true potential. Know what you are. But uh, yeah, we we exist in many... Uh, we, we are multidimensional beings. We exist in different dimensions right now, all at the same time, not just on this one. Not just in the third dimension, but in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, we all exist in all these dimensions all at the same time. So I've I've even showed y'all this in cartoons. I've explained this many times. Like even with with our uh our higher selves, they come here sometimes. We may not see it. Sometimes we may see it. Uh our higher selves are extraterrestrial. Some people see it. Some people have already visited. Or had had the uh, the the opportunity to meet their higher self. Some people get abducted by extraterrestrials. Some people just get visited by them. Over, but the the population is not ready for this. So that is why extraterrestrials haven't come here and visit us publicly yet, because the human the uh, this civilization on this planet is not ready. The the extraterrestrials are waiting on our say so in in the sense if you get what I'm trying to say, but. It's just like what it's just like a video game. You have you outside the video game, your real life you, right? Then you have yourself inside the video game. You are creating that avatar. You are shaping it and creating it and making it what you want to make it. And then when you finally done creating it, you get to play the game, right? You get to be what the fuck you want to do. You get to become whatever you, the fuck you want it to be. You get to be as powerful as you want to be. You you get to be able if, let's say it's asking you to become some type of what magician it asks you to be you want to be a wizard a witch a sorcerer a goddamn a magician whatever a goddamn pyromancer a necromancer a person who do telekinesis a person who can who can just just we always get the it's we always get the truth thrown in our face but we don't realize it because Movies put our real life superpowers on steroids, like for example, magic in real movies. When when people in movies or uh cartoons or shows do magic, it happens instantly. But for us, it don't happen that instantly depending on what we're doing. For example, people think that voodoo or like just making things manifest, it just happened instantly, or it's just gonna happen because you're sitting down. It don't work like that. See, people, when you manifest, some, some people often use the moon to manifest, right? Even on the new moon, right? You have to wait until the the next, you have to wait a couple, a day to a couple days or to a few days, depending on what type of ritual or manifestation you're trying to manifest. We have the power to do all this stuff. Everything we need is here. We are infinite. We have infinite resources. We have infinite life. We are immortal. Even the Bible tells you this. This is why I tell y'all also, or I used to tell y'all, because I haven't talked about this in a while. Death is nothing but an illusion. When you die, you ascend if you had the right information, if you did your life correctly, if you served your purpose, if you let go of attachments. 
we have to not get too attached to this this physical realm because we cannot take shit that's here with us outside of this physical realm is not a physical realm nothing physical can nothing physical can be there right but that's pretty much it i'm gonna make a series or a few more videos on this topic but now i'm universe taking off like subscribe i love you all peace